Hey everyone, last night I started a new 3D sculpting project. I spent about half an hour on it, and uh, it's not really quite attained the likeness that I want it to yet, but eventually it's going to be Rogue from X-Men Evolution, a cartoon that's very near and dear to my heart. Um, it's eventually going to be a full bust. Uh, I'm going to pull out the neck and shoulders and part of the torso next time I start, but I really want to get the head and the likeness down before I do that. And like I said, even putting 30 minutes into it last night, I didn't quite... <laughs> get it to where I want it to be. Um, that's because my own 3D sculpting skills are maybe not up to par, but you know, you gotta practice these things to get things looking how you want them to. Now, uh, I'm sculpting using Blender, and Blender can do a lot of really cool things from uh, actual edge-to-edge -edge modeling and uh, 3D sculpting, which I'm using now uh, along with a tablet and a pen for pressure sensitivity. And it lets me do a lot of things, but like I said, my skills aren't quite where I'd like them to be. <laughs> it still takes me a lot of time to realize all the details that, that I want in a model. But um, I'm doing a lot of things here, sort of uh, trying to get all the basic features blocked in. I have a lot of really cool reference images that I found online uh, of a lot of production art from the show, which is great, it's very helpful, but uh, there are a lot of challenges in making a sculpt based on a cartoon character, because... Uh, Artistic styles can change over time, from episode to episode, or even within this, the same episode, because different animators, uh, you know, work on the same series and have different styles slightly. And also, you'll see notice differences between uh, basically shots from the front and from the side of a character. Often, the details won't exactly agree when you try and sculpt these things in 3D, because when you're just drawing, you can sort of cheat that way. You can draw a character slightly different from the front and from the side. But in 3D, you don't have that option, so you have to make things. You have to exercise a lot of artistic license to make things look how they should, and it takes a, a long time and a lot of push and pull to get things looking how they should. So it's going to take me a while to get this nailed down. But um, I hope you stick around. I hope I get it looking <laughs> a, a lot better, a lot closer to how uh, it should look. And uh, I hope to do more 3D modeling videos like these soon. If you like them, please let me know. Please comment, subscribe. Uh, let me know what you're going to see. I'm going to have more Darkwood soon, but they're still releasing a lot of alpha updates, so I'm waiting till that stabilizes a little bit to get more of that down. And, uh, yeah, going to look for some cool new games to play and make some cool new videos for you guys. Uh, like I said, hope you stick around to watch them, and uh, thanks for watching. Bye.